Hey guys, it's Brayden and today we're going to be adding an expanded grammar to our voice bot. Meaning we're going to be adding most of the English language. Meaning, our voice bot is going to get very, very unpredictable. And I don't recommend anyone doing this. So, right now I have this whole text file full of a bunch of popular words, most common words in the English dictionary. There are a lot of words in here. Even the weirdest words you could think of, like... I don't know. So, I'll have this in the description, and we're just going to go over here, and we're going to change this to our new um, link, and let's try it out. Dog. Cat. See? Very unpredictable. Unpredictable. Caterpillar. It's very special. But with this, we can do the custom search August events. 13th, 2016. At least it recognized a command. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? Um, do I like fast food? I don't think that command's in there. Next. Okay, so it recognizes them. Tell me a joke. And for the multi, the multi-worded sentences, you're gonna want to add those to the bottom of the text file, just so it can understand you better. See, I, don't, I think, see right here, I added my commands, the commands that I had before, to the front to the top of the file, so they're still in there and they get recognized easier. Um, let's go. Minimize. Minimize. Unminimize. So it still works. And now we're just going to add the search for commands. So. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get rid of this. And we're going to go up to the. We're going to go up to the top here. Uh. Search. We're going to get rid of both these. Okay, so now, under our variables, we're going to type public um, bool or boolean, and we're going to type search, and we're going to set that as false by default. Um, so now we're going to go down here, and we're going to do if r equals to search for and we go open this and we're going to do search is equal to true and okay and now up here we're going to do if search we're going to open up our brackets and we're going to type process dot start H we're gonna type actually we're gonna go over to our YouTube or not YouTube we're gonna go here we're gonna go to Google here and we're gonna type apples this is just a test so we can figure out where the screen goes for our search results so if we go here and we can just get rid of this and put R right there and we need to go into here and add search for okay let's try it search for cats I don't know what that is it's a French word, apparently. Um, cat. And I guess I forgot to add, right under here, we're gonna do search. Search is equal to false. Just so we don't keep searching every time we say a word that it recognizes. Search for food I mean like I guess it works fine 
it's just I, I think it'll really interrupt the quality of other commands like what's my name actually that's not in the thing um, Spotify I guess it works and let's try one that's what's the weather like the sky is sunny I stand corrected as long as you're close to the mic and you have good voice quality this program will work great search for Switzerland wow that's actually a word in the dictionary and you don't have to be stopped by that list of command the list I'm going to be putting in the description you can go find English dictionary text files online and there are better ways of doing this rather than rather than importing a text file however this is the simplest way and the easiest way that I don't have to rewrite all of the code for so thanks for watching check back in like a few days or a week or maybe an hour if I'm up for it for another video Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want more.